is better than sex. Yes. And, and if this debate were held a few years ago, I might be sitting over there, that's true. Because it took me well into adulthood to reach the wisdom of maturity, to know <laughs> that as wonderful as sex is, there's so many things in life that, 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 are, that are so wonderful to experience that don't specifically involve having sex with someone. Like you can like suck on them titties real good. <laughs> or like, um, like finger banging's insane. <laughs> and food! Food is better than sex. Now of course there's a lot of parallels between food and sex and some of them are obvious. Snack, quickie. <laughs> Buffet, gangbang. <laughs> Vegetarian, lesbian. No sausage. All right. <laughs> and no one can deny this, though. Making good food is a work of art. But any two knuckleheads in the whole world can have sex. It's so simple. All you do is insert tab A in slot A. <laughs> remove, insert, remove, apologize. <laughs> Like with food, sex does have its trends. You know, I had a friend come up not too long ago. He said, hey, Arge, did you ever try putting it in slot B? <laughs> I knew what he was talking about. He was talking about some real backdoor action. <laughs> and I, I told him what I tell a room full of strangers tonight through a microphone. No, I've never done that. Because I still think regular sex, or what I call original style sex, <laughs> is still pretty awesome. And I haven't gotten to that point where I had to look beyond it for something else. I've never found myself in the bedroom like, yeah, well, this vagina's pretty cool, I guess, but I don't know, it's just not cutting the mustard anymore. What else you got back there? <laughs> never happened. And, you know, like Greg, I live in California. People are always trying to find a new way to have sex back there. This, this other uh, buddy of mine came up and said, oh, me and Margaret, we went to this spiritual guru and he showed us how to have sex for four hours. And yet we don't even have a sexual climax. I was like, you're telling me you have sex for four hours, but you never nut? I'm like, what's the big deal? I've used a condom before. He said, no, it's called tantric meditational sex. I said, I don't care what you call it. Four hours of sex? I don't got that kind of money. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> but, come on. Let's not forget why we're here. Food is, is not only better, it, it's a hundred times more important than sex. Because think about it. There's, a, there's organizations who their entire purpose is to feed people. That's hunger relief. Okay, there's no sexual relief organizations, <laughs> all right? There's no, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no benefit called, you know, Root Fam Australia. <laughs> For only $25, you can help an entire village get reach arounds. <laughs> not gonna see that. It's ridiculous that that would be written on that. But food is better than sex. And, and one, of the, one of the best uh, proofs of that my friends, is that you could go in the newspaper and read reviews of restaurants because that's how much we rate it. We want to know what's good. There's no partner reviews. <laughs> you can't go, oh, look, honey, they've got a review of that new young lady that moved in down the street. <laughs> when I first entered Gertrude, it was a usual fare. <laughs> a half-hearted and sometimes toothy head job dimmed my expectations. However, the main intercourse changed my mind about this flamboyant filly with her burnt orange hair. <laughs> Being in her reminded me of a warm night in Marrakesh. Humid, noisy, and full of haggling. <laughs> I would definitely return, although she could use a new futon. Ouch, my back, two stars. <laughs> Food, thank you. What if you had to choose food or sex? That's it, we win. Because you know why? Everyone, if they thought about it, would choose food because they know that you could keep eating good food and you'll rub one out here and there and you could, you could live your whole life like that. 
there's a lot of good aids to help you get a good rub out. I keep going out, there's great porn, that's fine, right? You could be a, a chubby, happy masturbator, or you could be a famished sex fiend, and you could have sex every day, but by the third day, you know what happens when you don't eat? You saw the old cartoons. You're going to look at your partner, and suddenly you're going to see a giant lamb chop sitting there. And you're... these three, an American, an Englishman, and a Kiwi, and like the imperialist nations from which they hail, they would try to bully us, simple, open-minded Australians. But we will not cower to those oppressors! We will look at the facts and let the illumination of truth cast away the shadows of their heinous lies. And for that I now present, why food is better than sex, the seven reasons of power. <laughs> Number seven, a good meal doesn't sit on the edge of the table and cry when I'm finished with it. Number six, a man can determine when a woman is finished eating. <laughs> Number five, there's no such thing as a food scandal, and Tiger would be in a lot less trouble if he was only linked to Maltesers. <laughs> Number four, if you don't feel like eating when the food is warm, it will still let you eat it after you finish watching Weekend at Bernie's 2. <laughs> Number three, both food and sex may lead to illness, but I'll choose diarrhea over gonorrhea any day. <laughs> At least I'll get some reading done. <laughs> Number two, the ramifications of sex can be far more serious than those of food. Leftovers from a meal don't stay in the fridge for 18 years. <laughs> And finally, the number one reason to put this thing to bed right now. Thank you, that's good. <laughs> Food leaves your body the next day. I don't know about you, but after good sex, I've had things stuck in my butt for weeks. <laughs> thank you very much.